What's up everyone? Cody with Double Buff Productions here bringing you a collectible guide for the Albed Primers in Final Fantasy X. I'm in the HD remake, but the locations are the same across all versions. So right after the prologue, you're going to be on the Albed ship here. Come back, pick up your first primer. This has a limited availability, which means it's the only time in the game you can get it. So don't talk to Riku, don't start the mission, come back and get this first. Second one is in Besaide in the Crusader's Lodge, top left hut in the village right here on the ground. You can get this one at any time, but if you wait till the end of the game and you're playing the international or HD versions, you're going to have to fight Dark Valifor to get back into Besaid. Don't do that to yourself. Get it now. Save yourself the trouble. On the boat to Kilika, you're going to come around to the bottom deck, walk past Awaka there, and into the power room. You're going to have this long, drawn-out conversation about Chocobo power and how crazy that is and how Titus can't believe it. But after the cutscene, come down to the bottom of the screen, and on the right here is the third primer. Once you reach Kilika, you're going to walk into the inn at the center of the village, right here. And on the bar is the fourth primer. You can see that small child back there is ecstatic that you just found it. Alright, second boat trip, you're on your way to Luka. But before you get there, come to the wheelhouse back here. And behind this portly gentleman is the next primer. Alright, these next two are in Luca. So once you get out of the locker room, you can walk around and Yuna will be behind you. Come around to the other side of the locker room, basement B, behind Larbite, Larbate of the Kilika Beasts is the next primer. Walk out of the locker room and then you're going to come over to the front of the map and leave the stadium. It should be noted that a lot of these you can get at any time during the game, but there are a couple that you can only get at certain times. So just follow the guide, get them when you can. This next one is in the Luca Theater, on the ground right there. Little out of the way, uh, pretty commonly missed. Alright, this next one is on the Meehan High Road when you reach Rin's Travel Agency. Rin's going to talk to you. He's going to be your mentor throughout uh, you learning the Albed language, and he's going to give you one for free right here. Don't worry about missing this one, he automatically gives you it in the cutscene. And the next one is near the end of the Meehan High Road. We're going to backtrack just a bit so you get a better bearing of where we are. And it is back here. You'll know you're in the right place when you see Shalinda. It's right here in the middle of the road, right before you reach Mushroom Rock Road. So the next one is in Mushroom Rock Road. Before you go to the elevator to get up to the control room, you can see we were standing there right where Waka punches out Luzu. you got to come back this way. And we're backtracking again. You can get this before you go up there. But you're going to walk around this snaky little path. And right there, kind of hard to see, is the primer on the ground. Up next, after Operation Meehan goes south, you're going to be on your way to Jose, and you're going to be on this long road all the way to the temple. You can see my sweet editing there, uh, editing out the battles. I was pretty proud of that. I get to do it a lot. Probably should have picked up a No Encounters weapon. We do later, but right behind this stalagmite is the primer. Easily missable. Camera kind of hides it. After you cross the moon flow on the north shore, you're going to come up here and at the top of this ramp is your next primer. Once you're in Guado Salam, you are going to walk around here to this house. You can see a reference point from uh, Seymour's Mansion. And just strewn haphazardly on the floor is the next primer. And you're going to see right here why nobody likes the Guado. They just push you around. They just shove you around. No care or respect. All right, this is on the Thunder Plains. You're going to talk to Rin, and you're going to say you're doing well, because if you don't say you're doing well in learning the language, he won't give you that primer. You can get it somewhere else, but get it right there. In the next Makalania agency outside the door, before you get to the lake, it's right there on the floor. And then we're going to backtrack just to give you a better reference point to get uh, volume 15. It's back in Makalania Woods in the area where you fought the Spheromorph. This one's really hard to see, and since you have to backtrack to get it, it's very easily missable. You can see it's being hidden by some of the plants in the foreground there, but it's right there. Come back, easy to find, easy to get. 
Next ones, the next two are in the Sanubia Desert. I believe this is the central region, which is the third area that you'll encounter. Uh, once you have Riku following you, you'll know you're uh, in the right area. And from that sign, you're going to come up into the right next to this post here. And then we are going to run all the way across the desert to the other side of the map to find the next one. And it's kind of a long trip. You'll probably do a lot of uh, fighting in this area. I know we did when we were doing our walkthrough. You'll encounter a lot of things like sandworms. I think that's what they're called, or giant worms. They're really tough. You might want to just uh, flee from the battles or escape. But in this small ruin at the back of the map is Primer 17. These next ones are all in home and shit went down at home. So all these have a limited availability. You can only get this at this point in the game. So right before you enter, walk over to the left. And then when you're in the main corridor here, you're going to walk around to the right. You're supposed to go to the left, but on the right here is primer number 21. Now the next primer, primer number 20, is probably the most missed in the entire game. Because based on camera work and cutscenes, you're going to run right past the area you're supposed to go and you never think to backtrack. But if you come back this way, normally the camera is facing the opposite direction so you won't see these doors. But if you come back to this door, you're going to walk in and you're going to get into a fight with a creature there. And on the bed in the Albed living quarters is Primer 20. Can't stress enough, the ones in home you can't come back and get. Get these three right now. Once you make it to Bevel and you crash Seymour and Yuna's wedding, you're going to come to the temple. This one also is limited because you can't come back to this area of the map again. It's not a problem because it, this one is much easier to find. It's right out in the open. Before you get to the Cloister of Trials, in that room back there is the next primer. Once you make it to the Comlands, if you leave the agency and travel to the far left corner of the map, you don't normally run this fast, I sped it up for you, but next to this precarious cliff, somebody just left their Albed Primer hanging out. Whose is it? I don't know. It's yours now. And when you first enter the Comlands from Akalania, on the right will be a secret area only accessible if you have a Chocobo. That's Remium Temple. This area is important to collecting Yuna's Celestial Weapon. But more importantly to the video is Albed Primer number 24 on the far left corner of the temple next to this Chocobo. After you fight Defender Z, before you go to Mount Gagazet, you can come down to the Gorge, which leads to the Cavern of the Stolen Faith. This is where you collect Yojimbo, one of the secret Aeons. And near the back of the area is the Primer. It's a little twisty and turny. If you're having trouble following us by sight, watch the mini-map. But it's right here in this alcove. You can collect it right after the boss battle, but the enemies here are very tough. That's why I would recommend the No Encounters weapon. Final one is in the Omega Ruins. You need the airship to collect this one and the coordinates, which we have lovingly provided you. And if this is the first time going to the ruins, the mini map is not filled in. So you have to follow this one by sight, which might be tough because I boosted the brightness. It's very dark in the actual game. Right next to this torch, though, next to those chests is primer number 26. So, if at any time during the game you're wondering which ones you need to collect, if you go to your inventory, come over to key items, it'll list all of the primers that you have collected up to that point. You can see we now have 26 primers. And if you're near the end of the game, you have the airship, you can come talk to Rin. He's right outside the control room, right here. You don't need to buy anything from him, he'll ask you at first, but if you just decide to leave and you have all 26 primers, a unique dialogue will ensue between him and Titus talking about how happy and proud he is of you for collecting all the primers and he'll give you 99 underdog secrets they are great items for Riku's mix overdrive but that's it that's all the primers thank you very much for watching guys check out some of the other videos on the channel we'll see you next time